Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, if you guys are new, and I am back and better with a, another video. Today's video is going to be very special because today is my 19th birthday, and I will be celebrating with you guys today, vlogging, taking you guys along with me on what I'm doing today, you know, the fun festivities. Also, I don't have that much going on, but you know, we're gonna celebrate a little bit to, you know, make it a good day for me. I am 19 years old today. My birthday is June 25th, 2002. Comment down below if you're born in 02, you know, for the best. I'm gonna get ready so y'all can see me get ready, see what I'm wearing. I got a new outfit the other day, so I'm super excited to wear it. And I'm up bright and early. It's 9.41 a.m. in the morning, and I'm up ready to get dressed for my day. Um, as y'all can see, I got the braids in. They're holding up pretty nicely. I've had them in for about two weeks now. So next week will be three weeks. And then after the fourth week is when I'll probably take them out because I do miss my natural hair. I love having braids though because I feel like it's a good way to get a break from doing your hair. And I've just lo I've been loving just like putting my hair up in a ponytail or like doing different styles with it. I know I need to lay these edges because they are looking a little curly and poofy right now. So you guys probably know my friend named Yasmin. I'm gonna go to her house and pick her up. We knew each other in middle school, but we made we got closer in high school. So if that makes sense, we kind of knew we knew of each other, but we started talking and becoming friends my freshman year of high school. So she's been a really good friend of mine for a while, like a long time. And just super grateful to have her in my life because she's always been a really good friend. So I'm gonna go, and y'all know I don't have many friends. I don't know if I talked about this, but I don't have many friends. She's been like, you know, my only friend, like my one and only friend that I can rely on to just talk to about things, you know, just talk to, just have a good friend. So I feel like it's very important to at least have one friend that you can trust, that you know, you're close with, you're cool with and all that. So she's been that friend for me. I'm gonna hang out with her this morning. I'm gonna go to her house, pick her up, and we're gonna go to this breakfast brunch place. I would say it's more of like a breakfast place, but it closes at 2.30 p.m. So I think they do kind of serve brunch. So after that, I'm gonna drop her off and I'm gonna get my toes and my nails done because look at that. If y'all saw my last video, y'all know I had like a nail horror story, but like the pink actually lasted a long time. I literally just popped these off myself like three days ago. There's still one right there, but they lasted me like over a month. So or I may or may not go to the same place that I went to. We will see, I don't know. I just feel like they did me really, really wrong last time I went. So I don't know if I should go to that nail salon or should I go to a different nail salon? But anyways, I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing for my day today. I actually went to the mall on was it Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, I think it was Monday when I went to the mall to get an outfit for my birthday because I haven't posted on Instagram in literally almost a year. The last time I posted was like August of 2020 and it was like a selfie of me, but like I need to start posting because I feel like I, I saw this video on TikTok and it was like, um, don't be afraid to post on Instagram. You should post more so that you can show like your future kids, like the photos of how bad you were and how cute you were when you were a certain age. And I feel like that's so true. Like, why am I scared to post? I need to make memories, post, get dressed up, get cute, and be more confident within myself. You know what I mean? Because I just, you know, it's my page. I should be able to post and not feel embarrassed. You know, whatever. If they want to, people want to unfollow me, they can unfollow me. But I feel like I've been like scared to like really post and like put myself out there for some reason. And I feel like I shouldn't be that way. I need to just post like, life is too short to not you know what i mean i'm gonna be wearing this tank top i got from forever 21 it looks like this is like a cropped tank it's like a tan color and it's super cute like super cute i love this set you probably get something like this um for a cheaper price on shein because shein has like a lot of these types of sets where it has like the cropped top and then like either some shorts pants or like a skirt or something like that but I didn't order, like, I didn't think about my birthday back then when I was ordering clothes. So I really didn't have an outfit, and Shein takes forever to ship stuff to your house. Yeah, I was like, you know what, I need to go to the mall ASAP and just get an outfit because I really didn't order anything that I really wanted to wear on my birthday. I ordered stuff that I could wear on, like, you know, casual summer days, but not stuff, not like dressy stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, this is kind of not really dressy, but it's still cute. The pants are actually matching, so there was actually a top that looked just like this but I felt like that was way too matchy matchy. I kind of wanted to do like just the solid color top and then these are the pants. The pants have like these leaves on them. So they're super cute. They fit me perfectly. I literally tried this on because I wanted to make sure they fit because my legs are long, you guys. And I was also really happy that the waist fits perfectly. Literally, the waist fits perfectly. And there's really no, there's no adjustable. So it's not like you can adjust it if it doesn't fit, but it literally fits my waist perfectly. Like it just stays on. So, 
super happy about that i was trying to look for some sandals at the mall that could kind of match that like some nude or brown sandals that could kind of match the brown in the pants but they didn't have my size at the store i went to so um i'm just gonna be wearing like these olive green color i mean they don't match but like it's still like that vibe like that neutral tone vibe so it's like you know why not my room is like a hot mess i told myself i was gonna clean it yesterday but i was just so lazy i didn't feel like it and i have so many like packages that i just got i had to um talk about this company on my tiktok account and a lot of companies have been wanting to work with me which is crazy because of my tiktok videos and so i have like packages on packages on my floor right now and then i have that package on my um little hair product organizer over there but it's just been a lot going on so anyways i'm dressed and i'm wearing the top it's like a crop top and then the pants currently 10 34 so it's not gonna take me long to get ready like i'm not doing you know full face full glam i'm just doing just a little basic you know natural makeup so these braces are actually like way too big like if i'm just relaxing my arm they're like not even on my wrist and they were a final sale, so that kind of sucks. I probably could use them as like um, anklets. I feel like that would be cute, but like I have pants on so you can't see anything. What I'm just gonna be doing is taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. And I use this as a concealer because it matches my skin tone perfectly and it just, I like how it looks. <laughs> I do that and then I just go in with my mascara I don't really apply foundation all over my face I feel pretty confident within like my skin and stuff like my skin's really been clearing up lately I don't know why it's just like my forehead is clear I think it's because like the edge control that I use to do my edges and stuff like eco styler and edge booster like clog my pores up on my forehead so I'll always just like randomly have blisters and like cystic acne bumps on my forehead and i took a break from like using gel on my edges like for this whole week and i really see the difference like my skin looks so much more clear and yeah also i've been drinking water because i was like you know what i need to drink more water so i can take pictures on friday on my birthday and my skin doesn't look crazy because last year like i had huge bumps on my forehead it was just so painful i was so insecure it was terrible but this this year, I feel like my skin looks really, really nice. So now I'm about to go ahead and just apply some mascara. I've been using this Maybelline Sky Lash Sensational one. This one's really good. I saw it on TikTok because it blew up. All right, now I'm gonna do a little blush just to kind of add some color to my skin. I'm kind of running a little bit late. I don't want, I'm bringing this in my purse because it's really hot outside and I know I'm probably gonna need to freshen up. Sorry, I put on deodorant weird. I gotta make sure I get all the cracks and crevices for my hair. I'm just gonna do my signature style that I've been doing. It's like this, kind of like this half up, half down type of thing. Like this. to style with my box braids because it's just perfect like your hair is down but it's out of your face and so like when I go to work and I'm checking people out at the register it's perfect to like look down at the register and like my hair is not gonna be like falling over my face like that's how it was when I had my hair natural like when it was straight and when it was curly it would just fall in front of my face and be super annoying 
but with this hairstyle like you don't have any of that going on and i also laid my edges a little bit as y'all can see um but right now i'm not going to be putting on my lip liner and stuff because since we're eating there's really no point but i'm gonna go when i do take pictures i'm going to put on my lip combination the scent that i always wear every single day is cloud by ariana grande and it's just like the perfect scent like it just it's like the perfect scent put it everywhere my wrist right here and it lasts on me like a really long time so that's like the best part about it so i am at brunch i mean is it brunch yeah yeah and say hey and we just ordered i got some cranberry juice and then this is a small but i think she's bringing me <laughs> i think she's bringing me a large and then what'd you get i got a sweet tea and we just ordered we just ordered so we're at first watch it's this new breakfast place that i just discovered one my parents went there but this is my first time you know actually eating here so i'm super excited yeah both of our first time so we're really excited and we'll talk to y'all well we'll see y'all whenever our food is out we just ordered i got french toast and we both you get? got the same thing french toast yeah french toast I got, um, potatoes, like, potatoes and biscuits because she fat <laughs> <laughs> I was like, girl, why are you getting bread, uh, two things of bread? I didn't know what I wanted. So. Yeah, so we're just going to sit here and talk, catch up, and we'll see y'all when the food is here. So we got our food. I'm about to show you guys what I got. So I got this French toast with strawberry, banana, and kiwi, which I don't really like the kiwi. Well, I do, but like not with the French toast. I feel like that would taste weird. So I'm going to go ahead and bloop, bloop, bloop. And then that's like my fave. I think this is like strawberry jelly, so I'm probably going to like do that. You think? Oh, it looks like jam. Some type of strawberry jam, maybe. Okay, I'll do that. And then I got bacon and then my eggs with my cheese on them. And the Yasmin, she got the same thing, kind of, but she got two. I don't know why. And a biscuit. Because y'all know she's crazy. And then she got... You like kiwi? Oh, no. Yeah, I like kiwi. With the, does it taste weird, like, with the French toast on it, or not really? No, not really. Just a sweet type of fruit? Yeah. And then she got, um... But I'm not gonna eat all of this. You're not? It's too much. It is a lot. I'm probably gonna eat most of mine, because mine's just one piece of bread, but hers is, like, two slices. And then she got some French toast. I mean, I'm, what is that called? Potatoes. Potatoes. Is that good? And she got cheese on it, too. So it looks really good. Um, but yeah, y'all, we're about to eat. And... We're gonna get someone to take a picture of us after um, we eat. Um, it's gonna be kind of awkward though, cause I don't want to like ask, and then they're like, "Um, I'm working, I can't." But we'll see if we can like take it of us real quick, because you know, it's a special day. We want to celebrate. That's something inside. Inside the French toast, like what? I don't know. I'm gonna have to show y'all. Probably a filling. All right, y'all. But I'm about to eat. Um, and I will see y'all when I'm done. So we just left the first watch breakfast place oh my car's over here and yasmin she got me a bunt cake thank you yes. she also treated me to breakfast it's over here oh my God. so thank you so much thank for you. helping me celebrate my day yes. it's been a good day so far so i parked really close to this car because i could not park i can't park for my life like every time i try to park it turns out bad and there's this man who was waiting for me to park in this in this um spot and he was laughing at me because I couldn't park. You probably might want to go home though because and put your, the stuff your in there. Candy and stuff. Ooh, it's gonna melt. Yeah, you're right. The chocolate that I got in. Yeah. I'm better off going home. And let me tell you what happened. Well, I'll tell you. I'm not gonna tell them yet. But oh, hold up. Oh, girl. I'm sorry. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you guys what Yasmin got me like when I go home because I probably am gonna go home and take this stuff home because it doesn't make sense to like leave it in the car when, they, when I get my nails done because she got me candy and the chocolate's gonna melt. So it's like, yeah, I wouldn't wanna go get my nails done and then like I have chocolate all over my car, or not all over my car, but like it just melts and it's like not, it don't taste the same, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, but we had a really good time. Um, there was a hair in my banana on my French toast. And they didn't, they were like, oh, you want a full, another meal? Like, no, I don't want another meal. I'm full. Yeah, like, but, I have two French toast, and I yeah, couldn't eat She couldn't all. eat all of it because it was, like, a lot but, to eat. Like, you got, like, a meal. I yeah. had to order mine separate. She, yeah, she had to get her separate. Yeah, I got, she, like, a you meal. You wanted eggs and bacon, but I didn't want Yeah, them. I wanted eggs, and... I turned it hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to, I turned it up. 
it should warm cool down in a minute i was like warm up but yeah so what i'm about to do i'm about to drop yasmin off and then i have to go home to take the candy she got me home and then i'm gonna get my nails and toes done and have a little spa day the glasses are back on because i have to use my glasses to see the road so i can see the signs how many and stuff. how many how many did she take she took one. Oh, you get it? one no the lady yeah she took one oh. my eyes were kind of looking weird but mine's too it's fine <laughs> Like the sun or whatever. I yeah. mean, at least the selfie was cute. Yeah, it was all cute. Yeah, because we didn't want to ask. We were gonna ask um one of the workers to come outside and take a picture of us, but I felt uncomfortable because if I was working, would you want someone to come in there and ask you to take a picture of someone? Or would you kind of be mad? No, because like whenever I do that sometimes, you like do? when I'm like. Uh, if I was a, no, if you were working in food, would you kind of be like oh. no? Because we did, I did that with before with my yeah. boyfriend's family, and they said yes. The, the waitress took the picture of us. She did. Yeah. Okay. Was she mean about it? I mean, was she like, yeah. well, actually, we yeah. No, she wasn't mean. Because one time this one, we um I don't know who who went out to eat with us, but it was me and my family, and she was mean about it. They weren't mean, but like they rushed, and the picture was blurry, and we were like, what the heck. We not having a post this for somebody's birthday and it was looking all blurry like that. Um, yeah, it's been a good morning or I say brunch. afternoon, brunch afternoon because um, I, I got to her house like kind of late, like at 12, 50, uh, 11 50, and I was mm -hmm. supposed to be there at 11 30, so it was a little bit late because stuff happened at the house and I was trying to open up my sister's gift and eat the breakfast that she bought me, so that was nice because she brought me um, croissants and tarts, and so they were really good. So I was kind of full, but not really. I, really wanted to eat again because I wasn't Have they ever you know. had it? oh so I'll oh, show them that so we got nothing but cakes I was about to say nothing but cakes nothing but cakes and we both got the red velvet with the icing on that they used to sell these at our school and I remember trying the red velvet one one time and they were really good yeah. so Yasmin she held it down because she got me my cakes I'm super excited but I don't want like any of my the food she got me to like yeah, get all okay. nasty and sticky and just uh, I don't know because it's really hot today it's whoa it's 102 degrees today that's crazy we need to go swimming I know yeah we, yeah we definitely will soon yeah especially since I have my season pass now so I could always just come pick you up and go to Hawaii Falls yeah and I could go to Hurricane Harbor yeah most definitely hey you guys I'm about to go ahead and see you guys in a minute bye bye so I am at the no salon I just dropped Yasmin off at her house and then I had to come back out. I'm not even in my same city. I'm in a different city because the nail salons in my city aren't really that good. So I, I kind of come out further than, you know, what's around me. I know it kind of sucks because it's like I should be supporting those businesses that are around my home, but they just don't do right. It's like my nails will come out lumpy. They don't know how to do acrylics. They don't know how to do designs. They can't do designs. It's like nothing ever turns out right whenever I go to those nail salons in like my local area. So I'm here to get a brand new set because I'm really trying to like keep up with my, just like keep up with myself. I feel like having nails just really makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel more confident and more happy. It just makes me feel good. Like I love when I'm at work and people are like, oh my gosh, I love your nails. Or like your nails are so pretty. And I'm like, thank you. I want to seem like I'm more put together. If my appearance can look put together, then it just makes me feel good about myself on the inside and outside. So, um, yeah, they're grown out, but they lasted a long time. Like I said earlier, um, they literally just popped off like three days ago. So, or no, I popped them off myself because this one was getting loose. So then I just popped off the other ones. So, yeah, you guys, I'm super excited. I really don't have a picture of what I want. But let me go on Pinterest. I have like some nails saved in my Pinterest thing. We're gonna see if they can do that for me. I don't want acrylic. They can't do acrylic. No, no salon that I've been to can do acrylic. No one. It's like, they just can't do it. It's gonna be lumpy and bumpy and crooked looking. So I personally like to do dip powder. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but I personally like when they dip my finger in the powder so the color can just apply itself on there and then they smooth out the nail so that the shape is fine and there's no bumps on my nail, on my actual, on like the nail part, the fake nail. That makes sense. So yeah, I just want them to, you know, put some powder on me and then smooth that mess out so it can just look clean. But last time when I got my nails done, let me tell y'all real quick. Last time I got my nails done, I asked for a V cut. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you guys right now so y'all can kind of see. Um, if you saw my last video, then you already know what I'm talking about. But I asked for this. This was in my little Pinterest picture thing, my little, in my Pinterest app. So I asked for that. I saved it in my um, 
on my Pinterest and they gave me something similar but like the V was literally so low and then each V on each nail wasn't even the same it was uneven like the V on this nail would be like all the way up here and then on the other nail would be all the way down there and then the nail it's the nails itself were like really lumpy looking like you could just if you look at my nail like that it would be like huge and lumpy right now if you're looking at this pink set that I have on still you can see that it's smooth it's not lumpy it's like a perfect it's smoothed out perfectly so but this is not even acrylic it's powder so it's probably easier for for them to do which is why i personally am going to go in there and get something that i know that they can do good at because i'm not going to go in there and then if i know they can't do acrylic why would i go in there and ask for it you know what i mean so i'm gonna hope they can get me in i feel like they're gonna be packed so we will see i know i'm gonna try to record too so hopefully i can get some footage for you guys i'm gonna sit my camera up so i can get some footage for y'all okay so this birthday is already a fail I kind of knew this was gonna happen to me, but I didn't really know. Like I wasn't thinking that they, they would do that to me. But anyways, so I go in there and I'm like, can you do powder, like a dip powder? He basically said I can't get dip powder long because it's gonna make my nail fall off. Like what the heck? I came here last time and this is powder. And he's like, oh, we're not allowed to do it long. But I'm like, okay, well, he's like, we can only, we can do acrylic long, but dip powder has to be short. So I was like, you know what, never mind, bye. And he was like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, thank you. And I just walked out because, first of all, the same man that he, they were trying to get me to get to do my nails today did my nails last time. He just, he messed up, bro. Like, on that, when he did my nails last time, I came back and got those taken off. Like, when I showed y'all in the last video of me getting the V-tips, this exact same man did it last time, and it was lumpy. So why would I let you do do acrylic nails on me if it's I know it's gonna be lumpy mess so now I'm trying to like look for a new nail salon that's like probably like around here somewhere how the heck can you not do dip powder and make it long like that doesn't make any sense to me all you do is you literally put the nail on you cut it to the length I want it and you dip each nail in the powder to add the color onto it like I don't understand how difficult that could be but the nail I showed y'all was acrylic but I would have gotten like just a nude powder but he he said he can't do nude, nude powder long he's saying I can do acrylic, but you don't do good acrylics. That mess is going to be lumpy as heck. I'm going to be like pissed off because my nails are going to be lumpy. It's really hard to like get your nails done because mm -mm. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll catch y'all whenever I'm in a nail salon. Okay, so I'm editing this video right now and I just realized I didn't really explain what was going on in the nail salon and what was actually said. So basically when I went in to get my nails done, I had two, three pink nails on that were still long and he cut them off if y'all saw, but he cut them off before I left and I decided not to get them done there, but they were long. And mind you, that pink set that I had on, that was dip powder and those nails were long. And I came to the nail salon to get them done. So when I'm sitting in the chair, he told myself, oh, we can't do dip powder long. We can only do dip powder short. And I was like, these are dip powder long and I got them done here. So what are you talking about? And he's like, oh, well, who did your nails? And he's looking around, looking crazy. And I'm like, um, I don't know who did them. Somebody in here did them. It was a lady. I got them done here. And he was just like, well, I don't know why she did that. Because we're not supposed to do dip powder with long nails. And I was like, okay. And I walked out. I just feel like, why are you working somewhere when you know dang well you don't feel like doing nails? Because it just sounded like he just didn't feel like doing nails at all. Because why would you not give me the length that I want? When, I, when you know dang well, people come in and get all types of links all the time with dip powder. It just didn't make any sense. I feel like he was lazy. So I'm in the process of looking for like a, you know, a nail tech in my area. So I'm finally done with in the nail salon. It took forever. I didn't record because the lady was doing my nails and uh, My toes at the same time. So there was like no way for me to kind of like hold my phone 
it was a good time you know just a little self-care pamper day these are the nails i just got them short because when she when i told her to do long she was like it the shape didn't look right it looked like it was coffin but then it was like super small up here like it didn't look right it was uneven so i was like you know what just do square short white and she went ahead and did it, and it looks good and i got my toes white too but i'll show you guys in a minute i'm about to go ahead and head, head to ulta and i'll show y'all like the final look and stuff all right you guys so i did a mini photo shoot yeah but these are the nails they're just white short square nails and then the toes are also white i don't know if you guys there you can see them those are that little flip-flops they gave me but the toes are also white yeah, I need to moisturize them because they feel kind of dry. But yeah, toes are done. They scrubbed me really good. They got the dead skin off my toes, off the foot, and everything is good. So now I'm about to go to Ulta. And after this, I'm going to go home because it's 6.30. And I don't know if we're going to get dinner tonight or what we're going to do. I'm just so happy I got those pictures because I've been really needing some pictures for my Instagram just to kind of post. Um, I kind of look like a sweaty, crazy person because with the mask inside the nail salon i feel like my nose got a little oily and sweaty like just with having a mask on it just made my face sweat here which i don't like because my t-zone is always oily and <laughs> sweat with oil mm -mm. so um yeah that kind of sucked but i'm about to go on ulta you guys and i'm about to take you guys along with me to get, to get a perfume i kind of already know what perfume i want it's this one i'll show y'all it's the uh, ysl mom paris but i want the bigger bottle because i feel like i need to spoil myself and get some type of signature scent there's a lot of perfumes that i like but that one just sticks out to me so if they don't have that one then there's a backup that i like as well um carolina herrera good girl leger or leger i don't know how to say it leger leger it's the one it's the heel with the clear um bot bottle with the clear tip on it i have the original one but the original one is super strong like that's the one that i would use if i'm going on a date but this one is like your everyday type of scent. So we'll see what this Ulta has. Um, there's two Ultas, but I was over here already. So why not, you know, why not just go to this one? Because it's, you know, I'm right around the corner from it. There's another perfume that I like as well. Bon Bon by Victor Roth. It's only $98 for the 1.7. I'm going to have to smell them and see what I really want as my signature scent. Because we are going on like a little vacation. And I could, you know, use a new perfume to just kind of smell good, feel good about myself. Um, I just need something that can last a long time in the heat because with this Texas heat it is very very hot so I need a perfume that can like really like have longevity to it because I can't even smell the perfume I put on today cloud does not it lasts on my clothes I can smell it on my clothes but like on your skin it doesn't last so I'm kind of looking for something that so I'm kind of looking for something that can last on my skin because not a lot of perfumes last on my skin so I'm about to go ahead and mask up even though I got my vaccine I don't think I need to wear a mask because you don't have to wear a mask at Ulta. I'm, I'm sick and tired of the mask, you guys. Sick and tired. So I'm not wearing one. I'm just gonna wash my hands when I get home, pray for the best, and let's go ahead and head out. Okay. This is the one I'm gonna get, you guys. Mon 1.6 food ounce. Perfect. Love it. So I'm trying to see if I want a hair product. They have these new Camille Rose hair products. I have that oil, but I've been eyeing this one. It's the Rice Milk and Macadamia Oil Moisture Milk. Uh, I don't know if I would like this smell though. It smells just like cake. Um, this is really good too. If you have curly hair, the Camille Rose Mango Mask is definitely really good. But I don't know you guys. I'm trying to see what I should try. Should I try Curl Smith? Pattern really didn't work on my hair. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the Curl Love Moisture Milk when I go back curly with because I have the curl maker so I could try them together and see if my hair likes it. the pair we'll see I don't know I love this oil the main choice alpha growth oil is my fave love it, it smells so good so I'm back to my ear down I'm about to go home because it's about to be seven o'clock um it took me a while to like even do everything I needed to do today because the nail salon like it took them at least three hours to do my nails I got there at three they didn't finish till like six then I came here to Ulta. so it took a while for them to do my nails and toes um so i got the camille rose curl love moisture milk which i am going to be trying it when i take the braids out but if it doesn't work i can always take it back some people on tiktok say it works good and some people say it's not good some people say it makes your hair frizzy some people say you'll have like extreme curl definition so i'm gonna see i don't know how i like it um I just feel like with all hair types, it's different. Like, it works different. Everyone's hair is different, so I don't know. But I know it smells really good. I, let me take the thing off to, like, really smell it. I've smelled it. I think I smelled it, like, a while back. 
Yeah, it smells really good. It smells just like cake. It just smells like a nice dessert. I love like cakes and sweets, so this is like a really nice smell. Um, so we'll see how I like it. I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. I heard it's really moisturizing, but like I said, I can always bring it back if I don't like it. And then I got the YSL, or I think it's called Eve's Eve Saint Laurent Eau de Parfum Eau de Parfum Mon Paris in the pink container container pink um, box. So I got the 1.6 size because I just love this perfume. I had a sample of it and I just love the way it smelled on me. And I'm really sensitive to smell, so certain things can give me a really, really bad lingering headache. But this, however, doesn't give me a lingering headache. Like this is something that I know it's just it's just amazing. I love it. Like I can't wait to put it on and stuff. I just love it. Oh my gosh obsessed love this perfume definitely recommend it i feel like all of the yves saint laurent perfumes last a long time on your skin they just do so i'm probably gonna have to invest in another one soon um but that was a huge buy right there so i don't know but oh also they gave me something else too they gave me this bum bum not bum bum bumble and bumble invisible oil heat protective primer which y'all know i don't really straighten my hair so i don't know who go and use this but it's probably not gonna be me because i don't even trick my hair she didn't even ask me if i wanted that or not so i don't know why she just put it in there but um yeah you guys that's the end of my video i'm gonna go out to eat with my family tonight and that was the end of my little day in my life vlog spend the day with me spend time with me type of video birthday vlog birthday celebration um it's coming to an end but i do want to post pictures before like the night ends and stuff or probably tomorrow i want to post um we'll see uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm a sweaty mess yeah you guys that's the end of my video i'm about to go ahead and go home because they're waiting on me hopefully it's not traffic because i gotta go on, i'm going to go on the highway so hopefully it's not really that bad i mean it's 6 55 so it shouldn't be that many cars on the road since people are not just now getting off of work so it shouldn't be that bad but we will see um but i'm about to go ahead and, but i'm about to go ahead and end today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye